And so let me know in the comments section, do you believe that Nikocado is done for good? Did he have this plan all along? He says the age 30 clearly states this. Is this his game plan all along? Coach Greg, and long story short, Nick Okado Avocados quit YouTube. That's right, he's not making any more videos. And why? And how do we know this? Well, let's go to PewDiePie to find out. This is from 2018. Let's check them out today. Raise that roof, raise that roof. Ooh, 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 ooh. And so if you needed any more proof as to how moronic it is to do mukbangs, well, Nikocado Avocado, he explains it best. Just look at how he transitioned. 2018, a lot slimmer, looked to be a lot healthier. Fast forward several years later, doing mukbangs, and he's gained so much weight that even the clothes that he sells for himself, he doesn't even fit into. Nikocado Avocado is the American final boss of mukbang. And so well said, the final boss of mukbang, most famous mukbanger in the United States, Nikocado Avocado. But he knew he couldn't do this forever. Even Nikocado Avocado, he is a smart guy. He knew he couldn't become morbid little beast and keep doing it because if he did, eventually, not gonna last. You can't gain hundreds of pounds and not expect it to dramatically shorten your lifespan. And so he's finally had enough. He predicted this in the past. He said at the age of 30, I'm going to quit YouTube and go back to being healthy. And so the time has come. Nikocado Avocado, he's going through his final form. He's going to transform himself to a leaner, better, healthier self. Come back to YouTube in the future and make the grand reveal. My viewers, I'm not doing this for life. Once I hit 30, I'm done. I'm going back to a healthy diet, better. So I, I remember that. He said once I'm 30, he's done. And so proof is in the pudding. I can't do this forever. When I hit 30, I'm done. And quite literally, after he hit the age of 30, he stopped posting videos. Coincidence? Of course not. How is it a coincidence when he says, I am going to quit YouTube at the age of 30. I can't keep doing this. And so he turns 30 and quits. I feel like if he managed to just like lose all his weight and come back super ripped, that would be the funniest shit. That would be such a funny conclusion to his whole saga. So imagine this, he comes back to YouTube six months a year later, lost 100 plus pounds and says, hey, it's all about being healthy now. I'm not gonna do what I used to do. And now I feel so much better. Imagine the lives that Nikocado Avocado could change. How much the people would wanna watch this. Wow, he transformed his physique. How did you do it? What did you do? What would he respond with? I stopped doing mukbangs, it was that simple. I stopped pigging out trying to force feed all those calories. I started eating healthy again, the way I did my entire life. I went for a couple walks and look at me today. I literally keep revisiting this channel every once in a while to see if you still like it. I feel like that's the whole reason we made this video. I'm like, ah, oh, I wonder what they're doing. Oh. It's the same old thing. And it's quite literally true, the comments saying, you know, I keep going to his channel just to see if he's still alive. Every now and then I, I go to go check in on him. Is the guy alive? And so if you were checking in on him right now and you noticed he hadn't posted any videos in a couple weeks, you might be thinking, well, is he okay? Is he in the hospital? What, what's going on? But he predicted that he would simply be stopping these videos at the age of 30. It's not something he wanted to do for the rest of his life. Some people, they make their money and it's time to retire, enjoy life. Because after all, what kind of enjoyment are you gonna get out of life when you're 400 pounds, you're breaking ribs because you're eating so much food, you can't walk, you can't have fun. It's so difficult. It seems the only time he's having any pleasure is when he's eating and doing mukbang videos. And even then, he seemed miserable. He was always upset, always complaining, never seemed to be a happy guy. I'm just baffled by it. I'm not saying I, di I, I disagree with it existing at all. This is weird when you find these different corners on YouTube and like, oh, this is fine, oh. And so I have to agree with PewDiePie. Do you not find it to be odd that you can promote binge eating these mukbangs because it's clearly not healthy and YouTube has a policy. It doesn't allow people to promote things that are unhealthy. For example, you can't make a video talking about drugs and PDs and saying, take this, that, and using them yourselves and saying, look how great it is. They wouldn't allow that. And so how are they allowing people to do mukbang videos, gaining hundreds of pounds and promoting morbid obesity to the world? 
It's not healthy. I don't think it should be promoted on social media. There was other speculation that perhaps Nikocado Avocado stopped filming for YouTube because he'd been picked up to do some form of a TV show, perhaps a transformation challenge of some sort where he couldn't post videos because it wouldn't be fair to the TV show to show how much weight he was losing. And so we don't really know for sure what's going on. Is he quitting simply because he turned 30? He said all along, I'm going to quit at the age of 30. And so time will tell, will he see Nikocado on some form of a transformation video? Perhaps it's my 400 pound life and losing the weight and getting healthy. I certainly hope so. I hope that if he does return to YouTube, it will be something different. Not eating these crazy monk bangs with 10,000 calories, more healthy content, trying to show people that you can in fact lose weight. I really appreciate the Coke Zero as well. <laughs> and so let me know in the comments section, do you believe that Nikocado is done for good? Did he have this plan all along? He says the age 30 clearly states this. Is this his game plan all along? Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset IPU Pro. Please check out the boobs. Of course, the Harder Than Last Time supplements as well as the cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Duset IPU Pro or go to GregDuset.com. And until next time, I am out.